Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a review and first impressions on Fenty Beauty, which is Rihanna's new makeup line. I am so excited because when I first saw this line, I knew I had to get it and review it for you guys. So I picked up a ton of things. I just got it in the mail like a few days ago, but I finally have a chance to film today right before going to work at my internship. So I don't want to keep you guys here too long. I know you guys are here for the review, so let's just go ahead and get started. So I do have like my eyes and brows done because there aren't any specific eyeshadows or brow products but I really hope that she comes out with them in the near future so basically this video is going to be mostly focused on the face and the lips so let's start off with primer so first of all let's just talk about the packaging I think it's so gorgeous I'm sure you guys have seen this pretty much everywhere but it is very sleek and I just I think it's very classy and I love it and this actually feels really really heavy um, you can see it's a frosted glass packaging which I think is super super luxurious looking and feeling feels very heavy it feels like really great quality I really don't think that her products are priced that bad like at all just because I think the packaging and the quality you know for itself so far is really good so this is the pro filter primer and I believe there's only one primer it's just in soft matte is this the yeah this is the retouch primer okay so I'm um, it does have a pump which I absolutely love like already a plus in my book I love when stuff has pumps um, it just makes it so much easy to control the product you're using so I'm gonna use about a full pump just like that and I'm just gonna apply this all over my face mm, it doesn't have much of a smell which is good feels really really hydrating I'm gonna use probably a little bit more because I think it feels really good on the skin. Just massage it in between my fingers and then I just apply it. Actually, it has like a really light, clean scent. Maybe it's this hand soap that I use. I just washed my hands before. But um, no, it doesn't, it doesn't have a strong scent or anything, which is good. So it feels really nice. Um, I don't notice any like pore filling or anything like that. It just feels like a really hydrating, sort of like smoothing primer. It doesn't feel greasy, which I like because I like when primers hydrate my skin without weighing my skin down and making it look really heavy or feeling heavy. So, so far, so good. Obviously, I have to keep using this, but so far, I really do like that. So I picked up two foundations because I wasn't sure of my shade. I absolutely love the way that the shades are like displayed. I actually ordered everything from Fenty Beauty's website, not Sephora, but they had everything displayed so beautifully, really easy to like follow along and navigate, and they had so many different models with so many different shades like you can actually see what they look like on the face which I think is really really helpful and I think that's what everybody loves including myself and appreciates about Rihanna's line so far is that it's so diverse and you don't have to be limited to the makeup line like what you're using so got two shades uh, this is the soft matte long wear foundation and this one I got in shade 220 and 290 I don't know if this is gonna match me hopefully it does I've seen a couple of videos and a lot of people say that the foundation actually goes a little darker if it doesn't match me I could always um, exchange it so let's see I definitely don't know what I was thinking with 290 to be honest because I'm not very tan at all well maybe again love the packaging very very nice um, I guess I'm gonna just start with 220 and see what happens so I did about two no like three pumps it is very runny I don't know if you can see but it's like running on the back of my hand Ooh, this might match me so I'm just dotting this all over my face with my finger and I actually did pick up her beauty sponge because I wanted to try like the tools that come with her makeup line as well this is what the sponge looks like I did get it damp underneath the sink so it has sort of like an angle if you can see and it just looks like this it is very very squishy super super soft I wish you guys could feel it it feels very very nice comparing it to the beauty blender that is what it looks like I know my beauty blender is disgustingly dirty but yeah it is very very squishy which I love and appreciate so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this in I think I got a good match I think 220 is definitely gonna be my shade so I might return that 290 foundation Blending out really nice. This uh, sponge literally feels super, super soft. Let's zoom in a little bit more. I like how the finish is like a natural matte. It doesn't feel drying on my skin. And I think it definitely makes sense to have a hydrating primer with a soft matte foundation just to kind of balance the two out. So it's not too matte and it's not too dewy on the skin. It's more of just like very natural and you know. 
might be actually a little too white. I don't know, but I've seen some people's videos and the foundation gets a little bit darker um, within a few hours of wearing it, so I'm not going to complain about it. And I'm just gonna <laughs> leave it like that. I think the match is pretty good though. I mean, I don't know how it looks on camera. I feel like sometimes it looks like more harsh on camera than in person, but looking at myself right now, it looks like it matches. I would say it's definitely solid medium coverage. Um, I have little tiny blemishes but it covered them up pretty decently. I do have a little bit more left on the back of my hand, so I'm just gonna apply that on the areas where I feel like I need it. The foundation does not feel thick at all, which I love. You know, like, some foundations, they just automatically feel like you have a lot of makeup on. This one doesn't feel like that at all. It just feels really, really soft on the skin but you still get some decent coverage, which I really appreciate in a foundation. So I'm really impressed with this foundation. I know the color probably looks really white, but I honestly don't think it looks that bad. Love the finish of it. It's definitely a soft matte foundation, great coverage. It's definitely medium to buildable, as you can see, and it doesn't feel or look heavy on the skin, which I love. I love when foundations kind of like make your skin look like your skin, but better with really great coverage. So, so far I'm loving this. Okay, I did pick up the Match Sticks Trio. I got the shade medium 200 so it comes with bamboo mocha and trippin so you get concealer a highlighter and a bronzer again love the packaging I think it's so classy these are actually magnetic so that's like the coolest thing ever so that's what they look like right here you actually can buy these individually for $25 a pop I actually got these for 54 for three so I thought it was just a better value so I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with the concealer this one Again, is in the shade Bamboo. This is what it looks like. I smell everything. Okay, I'm just gonna start applying it right underneath my eyes. I didn't use a corrector or anything, obviously. I just used a little bit of eye cream right before, like, cause I just woke up not too long ago and I did like my usual skincare, which clearly is not working the best for me right now. I'm in the process of switching my skin. I'm gonna just highlight a little bit in the middle of my forehead. The product feels, I don't wanna say dry, but it doesn't feel super, super creamy. It's definitely a very different sort of formula than anything I've really ever tried. So I'm gonna take the sponge again and just blend that into my skin. Oh wow, it blends really easily though. Even though it's not like the creamiest product applying it to your face, it blends like a dream. The concealer, I don't know if you can see, it doesn't have a lot of coverage. It's definitely a light concealer. Maybe if you're like on the go, if you want just something really lightweight, easy to blend. The concealer personally is not so far my favorite just because I like a lot of coverage just because I feel like I need it. But if you're somebody who's like on the go and you want something really like coverage, you feel like you don't want to use a lot of makeup, this is nice because again, it doesn't feel heavy and it does blend very easily. So I'm gonna go in, I love how they're magnetic. Like that's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the shade Mocha to contour a little bit. Ooh, this is dark. So I'm gonna just do a little tiny stripe because I'm kind of nervous. I never contour my nose, and that is why, because I'm not an expert with nose contouring. You definitely have to put effort when blending out this contour. But when it blends, it's actually not as dark as it looks in the actual packaging. I'm gonna just blend this out um, a little bit with a different brush. This is an angled brush that I got from Shop Miss A. Just cause I feel like, especially down here on the jawline, it's such a like rough area. It's just easier to blend cream contour out with a brush. I can't say that it's my favorite, but I also don't really cream contour and highlight on a daily. It's not something that, one, I have time for on a daily, two, that is my preference. I prefer just powder. Um, the I definitely like the foundation more so than these products right here, but I think it's just personal preference on what you're looking for. I will say the concealer is a little bit creamier and a little bit more easy to blend, whereas the contour stick, you definitely have to put a little bit of effort, so that, just keep that in mind as well. I'm gonna go in with the shade Trippin. This is um, the, I believe this is a highlighter. Well, this could be a highlighter for somebody who is a little bit tanner, maybe a deeper skin tone, but for me, it's gonna probably be like a blush. 
Let's just swatch it on the back of the hand. Oh wow, actually, do you see that? It's like a really gorgeous like orangey bronzy highlight with some gold reflex to it. It's actually a lot lighter when you swatch it versus actually applying it to your cheek or to the back of your hand. So I'm gonna just use my finger and I'm gonna just pounce that right on the tops of my cheekbones. I don't know if you can really see it. It is, I think this is definitely gonna be gorgeous if you have a tan complexion because the highlighter itself is really, really pretty. But for me, I feel like it's a little like dark just because I am pretty fair right now. The contour stick isn't my favorite. It's not awful, but it's also not something that I can see myself going to on a daily. I'm gonna keep playing with these products, but so far I'm really just loving the primer and the foundation the most. So let's go ahead and set these products. So I'm gonna start off by setting underneath my eyes. I'm gonna be using the Morphe E8 brush, and I'm just gonna be using my Ulta Beauty pressed powder in the shade Banana. This has been my go-to. As you can see, I already hit pan, I love it. Add that. I'm kind of pretty much going over top of the highlighter that I just applied, but it's not really showing up that much on my skin, and I'm gonna go over top with a powder highlight anyway, so it's all good. I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. pointed powder brush, which I've been obsessed with lately, and I'm gonna use my Ulta brand, also another product I've been loving, the matte bronzer in the shade Warm, just to set that cream contour. just realized I didn't use the full bodied foundation brush. This is what this looks like. I mean, personally, I wouldn't even use this for foundation. I would use this, if anything, for contouring. So let's try that. That's literally what it's called. It's the full bodied foundation brush, the 110 brush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same Ulta brand bronzer. Since this is such a like stiff, sort of like rounded brush at the top, I think it's really good for like carving out your cheeks. So I'm gonna take my bronzer and I'm literally it picks up a lot of product. I'm gonna dip in here and contour a little bit more. Okay, so now for the fun part. I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighter. I did pick up also the Cheek Hugging Highlighter Brush. This is the 120 brush. Ooh, very soft. It's definitely a different sort of brush than anything I typically use for highlighting, but that is what it looks like. So I picked up two highlighters, Trophy Wife, and then I picked up the duo, Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Living for the packaging. It's so cute, it looks like a little stop sign, but that is what the two highlighters look like. So one looks actually a little bit more frosty than the other right here, and then this one is more natural. Woo! They're definitely more of like sort of like a natural, cool toned highlighter. They feel really, really smooth. And that's just a little tiny swatch, as you can see. Like I barely dipped my finger in there. So, very pigmented. And then Trophy Wife, I'm sure you guys have seen this amazing highlighter everywhere. I know that a lot of highlighters like this, um, you know, they're intense and I'm super fair skinned. So it's gonna be like beaming in my face. Like this is definitely, in my opinion, the best for a tan to like medium skin tone, but I couldn't help myself because I know I could use this as an eyeshadow. Like, look at that, that's stunning. Are you kidding me? One swipe, it kind of matches my shirt too. <laughs> that's cute. Oh my gosh. Like that is incredible. Insane. So that looks amazing to me. Um, I guess I'm just gonna, you know, layer these up and try it out and see what happens. So I'm gonna start off obviously with a brush and I'm gonna be taking, so let's actually see. Oh, the names are on the back. That's super convenient. So I'm gonna take the shades Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal and just mix the two. Ooh, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. This brush is definitely different. It's something to get used to. I definitely like the contouring brush a little bit more, but I would definitely continue to use this brush, obviously, because I do have it, but that is intense. Oh my gosh, I love this highlighter. I know it is very light on my skin, but it's so pretty. I'm gonna take a clean duo fiber brush and just blend that out a little bit. Didn't use any blush today, just because I want to really focus this on really the contour and the highlight. Kind of nervous to use Trophy Wife. I want to, but it's like I'm going to work after this and like, 
let's just do it let's just do a little bit a little tiny bit i'm gonna use this really tiny brush i got this again from shop miss a i'm gonna just dip in here a little bit oh my god you guys i literally did this like i dabbed in here the tiniest bit do you see that it's so pretty <gasps> okay i think if you do a little bit you can totally get away with it because it gives you like this really pretty like green gold iridescent and I never thought a green gold highlighter would be pretty but Rihanna did it and it is stunning oh my gosh you guys you guys need this highlighter you guys need both of these these are incredible I think I like this one a little bit more because you could totally like tone this down like you can see that was just like a little bit of product and it's like so intense and it's so pretty and like sparkly there is a little bit I will say there is definitely like glitter in this but it's not chunky it still looks really pretty and fun um oh my gosh i'm like i definitely like this one more than the duo one i mean the duo one is really pretty but this one is intense and i can imagine if you like really build it up it's like it's gonna be like crazy beaming but i think that's stunning i'm gonna stop there just because i do have to go to work after this and um this makeup look is already super glam but i love this highlighter wow so i got the shade fenty glow i believe this is just yep it's a universal lip luminizer it's just a gloss one shade for everybody again with the packaging i'm obsessed with it so let's go ahead i guess i always line my lips because uh, i love lining my lips i feel like it makes a difference for the sake of the video today though i'm just not going to line them just so you guys can actually see the color oh my god this smells incredible it smells like Kool-Aid, Fruit Punch, Tropical Coconut. Yes, nothing better than a good smelling lip product. Okay, let's just put it on. You guys are probably like, just put it on. Ooh. Matches really nice with my lip, um, eyes today. I was going to say it matches with my lips. Oh my god, this smells so good and it feels so good on the lips. That is so pretty. It's kind of like your lips but better type of gloss. I think this is the prettiest gloss for every single day. Not sticky, so creamy. It smells amazing, you guys. Like, literally, I could eat it. Oh, and another thing I'm going to be doing is just popping in a little bit. I'm going to just take the highlighter, actually, again, Trophy Wife. And I'm going to pop that in the inner tear duct and on my brow bone just because it's that pretty. I can't resist. I'm going to be using a Morphe E36 and just popping that right in there. Oof girl okay I'm, I just have no words I think Rihanna absolutely killed it with this highlighter like wow I think Rihanna should definitely come out with her own setting spray I think that would be like amazing but in the meantime I am going to set my makeup with my Urban Decay All Nighter makeup setting spray Alright guys, so this is the completed look. I am honestly really impressed with more than half of the products that I've tried. If there's anything that I would recommend out of this collection thus far, for sure the primer, the foundation, the highlighter, Trophy Wife if anything, but they're both really really good, the ones that I've tried. But Trophy Wife is definitely by far, like I said, the prettiest highlighter that I have ever tried to date. Like it beats any brand that I've tried so far. Like I love the ones that I've tried, but that one is just like out of this world, unique, beautiful, amazing, and I'm really, really impressed with it. Another thing I recommend is definitely the lip product. I think this gloss is incredible. The smell, the formula, and I love how natural it is. And just, it makes your lips look like your lips but better, but still really juicy. The formula is creamy on the lips. It's not sticky. It just glides on. And I love the fact that it is one shade universal for everybody because I truly believe this is going to look good on everybody. The matchsticks aren't my favorite, but... Cream contouring and highlighting is personal preference. I mean, some people love it, some people don't, and some people will do it on a daily, whereas, like me, I personally don't like to. I would honestly, if it were up to me, I would pass on the matchsticks. Everything else I loved, um, but again, it's personal preference. These aren't awful. The contour stick is a little difficult to blend. Like, you really have to take your time with it. The concealer blends out really good, but it's just not the coverage that I personally want. The highlighter or blush topper, in my case, for me, is pretty, but it doesn't show up as well as I personally 
personally like it. I love a beaming highlighter, so for me the powder highlighters are better than the matchsticks. But, but your cream products could always emphasize your powder products as well, so if you want to use them underneath. Again, it's personal preference, but for me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of them, but everything else I am obsessed with, like obsessed. And you know what? Another thing I almost forgot to mention is the beauty sponge. This is also, I think, a product that is worth it if you're looking for a really good beauty blender or sponge, maybe. I don't know. I forget exactly how much this is. I want to say it's like the same price as the beauty blender, but I think this is great. It's really, really squishy. I think it's actually a little bit squishier than the beauty blender. It blends out everything really well, and I love this so far. So this is a tool that I recommend. The brushes are really nice as well. They're really great quality, but again, they're not necessary to have in your collection. At least I don't think so. If you want to spend some money, sponge, foundation, primer, lip products, highlighters. And you'll be set. I'm telling you, you'll be golden with these products. So that officially completes this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and for all your support. Let me know down below of products that you've tried. What are your thoughts? I'm really impressed with this line and I cannot wait to see what else Rihanna comes out with because I know it's going to be amazing. So thanks for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye!